is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about all of the new primetime players that did get released in NBA 2K22. My team today, Emmanuel Quickly, Landry Fields, Boogie Cousins, Jimmy Buckets, Andre Iguodala, as well as Monte Ellis. Now, before we dive into each and every one of these players, who is the best budget, uh, who is the best player for their value, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Knicks fans, here you go. Emmanuel quickly, six foot three, seven, six, seven wingspan. Look at the hot spots for Emmanuel quickly. Oh my. No way. No way they made Emmanuel quickly this good, guys. Oh my goodness. Six three. 6'7 wingspan, 28 base badges, 89 three ball, he can dunk, 87 speed ball, 86 ball, 87 speed acceleration, 85 lateral quickness, his interior is low, low strength, can't rebound defensively, leaves a little bit to be desired. But this card for a Sapphire is immaculate. Jump shot 84, I'm not exactly sure what that release looks like. If it's similar to what it was last year, it's just fine. This Emmanuel quickly card is just fine. He is he is very, very solid. I don't think there's any questions asked. Defensively, you can give him whatever. Obviously, you won't put anything on him. This card's fire. For Sapphire point guards, guys, I'm telling you, point guards for value, we finally got one in Emmanuel quickly. This dude can play. Landry Fields up next. Shooting guard small forward at 6'7 with a 6'9 wingspan. 85 three ball, 80 speed, 88 lateral quickness, 80 driving dunk. Look at the defense on Landry Fields. And guys, he's six foot seven. Let's see what the release is. Jump shot four. Okay, not necessarily the best release in the game, but not the worst. Here's what I want you guys to look at. Six seven, six nine wingspan at the two. His speed's a little lower than I'd like, but everything else is just fine with this card. Yes, I know he can't really handle the ball too well. But if you're just looking at a three and as far as the three and D aspect. I think we got to we gotta put some respect on this dude, Landry Fields. He is absolutely solid. Tendency-wise, this early on don't really matter. And jump shot four, not necessarily the highest in that release. But both of these Sapphire and Ruby card are just absolutely fired. Boogie Cousins up next, 6, 10, 7, 5 weeks. This card stinks. This card is dirt. This is the card I'm going to spend the least amount of time talking about because this card is absolutely dirt. I do not care if you like DeMarcus Cousins in real life. I do not care anything. This card stinks. Look at the shooting badges on him. Look at like, dude, I'm sorry. If you're a big DeMarcus Cousins fan, all I can really say is I'm sorry. Because this card stinks, man. I get it. He's got some defensive badges, but I, I don't know. I have a hard time seeing this dude used in any type of setting. He's not necessarily even a stretch big with such a low three-point rating. Jimmy Buckets up next, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, wingspan, can play the two. Look at the total badges. I definitely like that. 78, three ball, just fine. 84, speed acceleration, 91, lateral quickness. I told you guys he was going to look like the possessed one that we saw last year, and that is the exact case. Going to look exactly like that one. Hall of Fame hustler, decent enough defensively. One thing I don't like about Jimmy Butler is you can't apply any badge, right? You can't upgrade the clamps, intimidator, pickpocket, which I'm not a big fan of. Yes, you can give him quick first step, which I like. Shooting-wise, again, he's fine. He's not bad. You got to give him catch and shoot, chef, circus, three, or not circus, three. catch and shoot, and chef, though, you have to do give him those. He's not bad. Jimmy Butler's not, he's not bad. Can handle the ball a little bit. Tendency-wise, fine. Jump shot 22 is fine. It's just at the two, how good is he, right? Is he better than the Gary Harris uh, Amethyst card that we just saw? He's taller. Does that mean better? I'm not sure. I think Jimmy Butler is going to be a top shooting guard in the game. That's what I'll say. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty high on Jimmy Butler overall. Andre Iguodala up next, 6'6", 6'11", wingspan. I know he's a diamond, but here's the thing, guys. He can't run the shooting guard position. He has to play small forward. He's fine. Like, he's fine. He's he's fine. But my problem with the guard is his only one of his Hall of Fame badges is clutch shooter. Outside of that, shooting-wise, he's not very good. I get it release-wise. Iggy's base on quick is going to be a smooth release. It's just tough for me right now to be that high on Iguodala. When we have LeBron that can play the, the three, we have Kawhi that can play the three. It's going to be tough for me to find anywhere for Andre Iguodala on my team. Still, if you do run him as small forward, he's fine. And that's just the way I, That's the way it is. Can't get quick first step. Can't get pickpocket. Can't upgrade interceptor. He's fine. Like, if you are a big Andre Iguodala fan, he can play for you. He's fine. All I'm going to say is I'm higher on Jimmy Butler because he can play the shooting guard position than Andre Iguodala. It's just the way it is. Monte Ellis, last but not least, 6'3", 6'2", wingspan, which that wingspan really hurts him. 
You might see another kind of Donovan Mitchell type player. 84 is three ball, 65 driving dunk, 93 speed ball, 93 ball, 93 speed acceleration, 88 lateral quickness. Playing wise, incredible defensively struggles, but you can upgrade his defense shooting wise just fine. We know finishing he's gonna be fine. Here's the deal: jump shot 22. Kobe's upper. That's I mean that's just a really good release in general. I don't think anybody's gonna debate that. But is that good enough to play Monte Ellis? And my answer to that is no. That's not good enough to play this card. He's not very good in NBA 2K22, my team. And honestly, Jimmy Butler is better straight up than Monte Ellis. Yes, they give you different things. I 110% agree that they give you different things on the court. Monte might be a little better of a creator, a little better of a primary ball handler. But look at a 6'3", 6'2", wingspan Monte Ellis. Well, we've got a 6'7", 6'8", Jimmy Butler. I told you guys just the other day right that jimmy butler was gonna look exactly like this car and you can't even sit here and tell me i'm wrong i said jimmy butler was gonna look exactly like this car compare the badges basically identical yes the hot spots are a little bit different 83 three ball 82 speed 91 lateral quickness 83 82 91 78 84 91 basically identical cards and the one thing some things i like about jimmy butler that i'll talk about he can get catch and shoot you can upgrade his sniper when we talk about playmaking he can get quick first step those things are very valuable on the defensive side he's not necessarily the best lock he's not the best on ball defender but he's going to be six seven he's going to be able to play the lanes i'm telling you you get jimmy butler right you add this coach, which I, I have the pace and space coach. You give him a, th a, a speed with ball shoe that boosts that plus four or whatever. Look at it. 89 speed, 83 three ball. Uh, you can maybe get that to 87 with the, with the boost. You get a speed with ball up there as well. And you're looking at probably the top, top, uh, top five shooting guard in NBA 2K22, my team, in my opinion. I'm very high on Jimmy Butler. The rest of these cards are just fine. Monte, Iggy, don't waste your MT. Jimmy Butler is fantastic. Boogie Cousins, terrible. Landry Fields, very solid. Obviously, you're not going to apply any badge or suit shoes, but he's very solid for a budget option. And so is Emmanuel Quickly. Emmanuel Quickly, absolutely incredible for his value. So how I'd rank these cards. That's what you guys are probably wondering. Jimmy Butler, number one. Andre Iguodala, number two. Monte Ellis, number three. Hate to do this. Landry Fields, four. Emmanuel Quickly, five. And Boogie Cousins, six. I hate Boogie Cousins. He has a total of eight, uh, what, 18 badges. The card sucks. He is the worst card that we saw today. Uh, again, I apologize if you are a massive DeMarcus Cousins fan. But this card stinks. DeMarcus Cousins stinks in NBA 2K22, my team. It is the worst card we got today. So Jimmy won, Iggy 2, Ellis 3, Fields 4, quickly 5. DeMarcus Cousins, if this was a tier list, would be an F tier player as my number 6 best card that we got today. So that's my rankings. Let me know yours down below in the comments. Which of these cards are you guys most excited about? The only one I'm really excited about is Jimmy Buckets. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.